own history. As with all great books, at the heart of the Lord of the Rings is a great story. The saga of Frodo's journey carrying the ring into Sauron's lair. Tolkien presents this as a trilogy, and frankly, it's more epic for it. It's a bit like building a shelter. You need to start with a solid structure, and the trilogy allows Tolkien to weave an incredible tale. The Fellowship of the Ring gives us the foundation of the story, the formation of a group to help destroy the ring. In The Two Towers, he adds layers of complication as the Fellowship split up and we follow their different stories across Middle-earth. The Return of the King delivers the climactic end of the saga with a stupendous battle against Mordor and, of course, reveals the final destiny of Frodo and the Ring. But a great plot is nothing without characters you care about and Tolkien coats his tale with a rich mixture. Of these, probably the most important is Gandalf. Gandalf is a wizard, but not just a magician who performs tricks. I have to admit, he's one of the characters within the book that I have the most admiration for. He's everybody's favourite uncle, the person you turn to most in any hour of need. And Frodo and his friends find themselves in plenty of need. The odds they face are huge. In page after page, Tolkien relentlessly builds a sense of threat and epic adventure. The story is like a closing vice with a constant threat from without and from within. So not only are they pursued by wraiths sent by Sauron, but the ring itself is like a traitor amongst them, willing them to make mistakes. Frodo and his friends are camped on the top of a mountain. They think they hear something, and then they feel, rather than see, shadows looking down on them. Frodo thought that he heard a faint hiss as of venomous breath, and felt a thin, piercing chill. They're ring wraiths, destined to hunt the ring for eternity. And when they attack, Frodo, the hero of the book, remember, is as scared as anyone but his terror was swallowed up in a sudden temptation to put on the ring. Instantly, we see the power and the evil of the ring as he sucked into the same dimension as the wraiths, and they're revealed to him in clear sight. But it's only in adversity that we see the true measure of someone, for just as he can see them, so Frodo realizes that wearing the ring reveals his whereabouts to all forces of darkness, including Sauron. With a last effort, Frodo dropping his...